Okay, now setup basically has finished the installing Windows files and drivers and somewhat. Now it's giving you this message to improve the performance. And it's going to bring Windows to a lower video resolution. If this is okay. Gonna select X. Okay, so now we're at the Welcome to Microsoft Windows installation. Windows have basically installed on our systems. We one thing I have to mention that we did not go through and I just wanna mention it now. If you're not using the OEM C D or uh, you will get a message asking you to type in the Windows XP serial key and that should be on the back of the box of the CD you have the authentication certificate serial key that's the key you use if Windows asks for it okay so once you're at this screen what you're gonna do is you're gonna select on next at the bottom left corner here okay Windows is asking if we want to turn on automatic updates now I always say right now because I like to configure automatic updates later in the settings and I always select notify me before downloading any updates so right now I'm going to select no but it's good to have Windows XP looking for updates you're going to select next here then it's asking you about the different users that will use this computer so for the first user I'm just going to select user this is just for this video tutorial. Then we're going to select next. Then it says congratulations, you're ready to go and it thanks you. You select finish. Then you see Windows XP loading up for the first time. A lot of you will get the welcome window asking you if you want to go on the Windows XP tour and this is the first screen you see with XP now these are the things you're gonna notice it's telling you your computer might be at risk automatically that's Windows security in this bottom window here and that's because we have automatic updates not set up we also don't have an antivirus and the firewall should automatically be turned on but we'll get to those things in future tutorials you also see here this is to take a tour of Windows XP you see that option here I'm just gonna cancel that it's to be on the scope of this video okay now when you see here you can tell that Windows XP is missing some drivers now we don't know exactly what XP is missing so right after I install Windows XP or any Windows operating system the first thing I do is go to device manager and check out what drivers Windows didn't pick up and we're gonna go through that process now you're gonna select on start then you're gonna go to my computer and you're gonna select on performance and maintenance system and then hardware for device manager I'm also going to show another way to get to device manager in the simplest way you select on start you're going to right click my computer and go to properties that's going to bring you to the system properties box you're going to select on hardware and then device manager and everything you see here in the yellow question marks or drivers that Windows don't have to certain devices that's on your system and we're gonna have future tutorials to show you how to install these device drivers or what have you okay so that just about does it for this tutorial just show you how to install Windows XP it's a pretty simple task if you're a technician it's something you definitely need to get used to learn how to customize the XP installation and do different things with it and if you just want to reinstall XP on your system because 
the antiviruses just sent it out of whack no matter how many antivirus you have or you just want to start over which is good to do every now and then I try it myself but um I hope this tutorial was informative for you for more great tutorials just visit us online at www.infixitonline.com that's infixitonline.com thanks